Welcome. Trans, um, by the way, uh, Lisa Fuller wrote this and um, it was a part of a, a bunch of different things she brought together. Um, and at the end, I'm gonna say a prayer that Reverend um, Sunshine wrote. So Transgender Day of Remembrance, recognized annually on November 20th, was started in 1999 by transgender advocate Gwendolyn Ann Smith as a vigil to honor the memory of Rita Hester, a transgender woman who was killed in 1998. But there is more to trans life than death and shifting. Trans Day of Remembrance to Trans Day of Resilience is a way to center a new narrative. Trans Day of Resilience was originally coined in 2015 to describe an annual art offering for trans people of color. Instead of centering on death alone, Trans Day of Resilience focuses on how trans communities of color resist violence and fight for their survival. Trans lives are often not valued in society, but Trans Day of Resilience challenged this by showcasing their power in the face of adversity. Recently, Billy Bragg, a UK singer, songwriter, and activist, came under fire for gender critical activists for making the lyrics to his 1991 single, Sexuality, more trans inclusive when he performs the song live. Gender critical is a term used since the 1970s, through possibly still, though possibly still to new to many people. Describes women who threaten violence against trans women. Um, who dare exist in women's and lesbian spaces such as re restrooms and bars. In his song, Sexuality, Bragg had previously sung, just because you're gay, I won't turn you away. And if you stick around, I'm sure that we can find some common ground. Now he replaces gay with they and some, some common ground with the right pronouns. They and pronouns are expressions of allyship with the trans and non-binary communities. While support for gay and lesbian rights have come a long way since 1991, trans men and especially trans women have been left behind. The Pew Research Center found in 2017 that 84% of white evangelical Christians believe gender is determined by sex at birth. That demographic also has strong opinions about preventing women from getting abortions and often supports policies attempting to define transgender right out of existence. Use of public restrooms by transgender women is a flashpoint, with gender critical women arguing that they don't feel safe when trans women who have not yet fully transitioned are allowed to use the same bathrooms. They assert that trans people are by nature sexual predators who cannot be trusted in the presence of children and are nothing but perverts, a sweeping pejorative. The Washington Post reported this month that 2021 has already so far been the deadliest year on record for transgender people in the US. Um, and who is perpetrating this violence? Cisgender men, men whose sense of personal identity and gender corresponds with their birth sex. So by trying to push a trans women back into the men's toilets, gender critical activists are forcing the already vulnerable trans women community into the threat of even more violence and abuse. The issue of trans rights is complex. The gender critical argument inevitably boils down to the question of which is more important biology or human rights. The argument reminds us of when 20th century feminists were opposed by those believing women's traditional family roles were more important than their basic human rights. Honoring trans people living and dead aligns with our first UU principle, recognizing the inherent worth and dignity of all beings. And the modification of adding or exchanging resilience for remembrance aligns with UU as a living tradition too where living tradition is a blend of traditionalism with innovation. Heritage and legacy are infused through living, breathing contributions that acknowledge change. Sharing this information today on behalf of Buff's welcoming congregation is important as a way to understand that Billy Bragg doesn't erase the gay and lesbian community by changing the lyrics to his song to be trans inclusive. The lyrics are simply updated to reflect the changing times we live in. And as an aside, the song could use further updating. 
as in the 1991 title, sexuality doesn't even apply to transgender in today's understanding of trans as a gender identity, not a sexual orientation. Substituting resilience for remembrance uplifts the power that trans people, especially trans people of color, hold throughout their lifetimes. So on this Transgender Day of Resilience, we remember those who have been murdered for being who they are, those who face violence on a daily basis, and those who have lost lives, who, I'm sorry, and those who have lost loved ones, and those who worry for loved ones. Thank you. 